Hey everybody, this is Pete Wenzel and today I'm going to show you how to change this pretty flat brick surface into a cool looking landscape in Blender. How to get to the brick surface with a particle system or how to apply a multicolor material to the objects will not be part of this video. So if you are interested in these topics, check out my linked videos. For the landscape generation we will use the Blender internal landscape generator, but this workflow will work with any other shape as well. The only limitation is that the landscape is built by only one single object. If you already have a landscape which consists out of multiple objects, make sure to merge them first by selecting all of them and press Ctrl J. If you don't already have, Activate the add-on by clicking Edit, Preferences, Add-on and search for Landscape and then enable the ANT Landscape plugin. Then close the window. Shift A, Add Mesh, select Landscape and don't forget to open the settings of it. There are a lot of cool templates and settings within this tool where you can create several different shapes. I don't want to focus on that and therefore just selecting Canyon. After that you can adjust the mesh with any tool you want, modifiers, sculpting and so on. But in this tutorial I won't do anything else than just generating it. Rename the mesh prevents us from getting too confused while the blend file becomes more and more complex. It's now Landscape Source. Enable the Scene Collection and scale the landscape until it is as big as the brick surface. Select the brick plane and apply the Shrink Warp modifier. Move the modifier to the top of all, because the order is very important. Select the landscape as target and set the mode to project and enable negative and positive as direction. Now you should have a landscape with a brick surface. If you like this video, share it with your friends, give me a thumb up and feel free to ask further questions in the comments below. If you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. We can still scale, move or even adjust our landscape source and the bricks will stay in their XY position and only change their Z position. It might happen that you realize while animating that there should be a lower or a higher hill. So just change it at any time. This fact makes the shrink warp workaround with the landscape and the brick emitter worth it. Depending on your brick used as particle source and the gradient of your landscape source, it may happen that the total height of one brick is too less and you see it flying in the air. The easiest way to adjust this is go to the brick collection, select the source object of all particles and change to edit mode. Now select the lower vertices of it and move them in negative Z direction. So we change the 2x2x1 two by two by brick to a 2x2x two by two by something greater than 1 brick. But it will work. Go back to the scene collection and check if all gaps are filled with our higher brick. If not, do it again. Another solution would be to reduce the landscape set scaling, but I don't like to subject my creativity to physics. Enjoy your work, we have a brick looking cool landscape. And that would be the end of this tutorial. In the next video I will show you how to set up a single material to colorize the landscape with different colors. Now you have reached the end of this video. But this doesn't mean you have to talk to real people. 
you may be interested in my new video over there. Or you could watch this recommended video. And as a last opportunity, there are many more videos for you at my channel.